Um, I have to go get Obed again because Obed has, I don't know where to hold this camera. Somebody's going to have to like tell me in the comments how to do this because I have no idea. But anyway, um, I got to go get Obed because um, Obed has GERD, you know, so sometimes he will throw up at school and then I have to go get him like kind of a lot. And we had this... We had this all under control when he was in uh, elementary school because it took a long time, but they finally figured out that no, you know, he can he's not sick, he can stay in school, it's just a digestive thing. Well, this new school, um, they haven't really figured it out yet, and it's going to take some time and some adjusting, and it's really awful to have to deal with that. I get it. and. You know, and so I'm going to go get Obed. He's way across town. I, you know, again, I, I can't get a shower or anything. And, yeah, like that's la yesterday's mascara. I hate to tell you, but it's just the truth. It's just kind of the way things go. But um, got the coffee, got the phone, got the plug, and I'm on my way to go get Obed. So I'll keep you posted. But I'm going to go get the little guy now and... Um, and I will talk to you guys later, fill you in on, you know, what's going on here. So, all right, see you in a bit. So there are challenges with this life that we live. And, um, you know, a lot of times I'll say that it's the external challenges that really get to us. These kids are awesome. I mean, the family life is great. It's all that extra stuff, which is life. But, you know, it's life, and that's a good thing. And so at the end of the day, you know, as frustrating as all this is, I am thankful. I'm at a red light again, by the way. I am thankful that I can go get Obed and that I can be his mom and that my husband has a decent job now and the light is green. So we got the boy. Here he is. Hi, sweetheart. He's a little warm, but I don't know. It's so hard to tell with him whether it's digestive or whether he really has picked something up. You know, everything kind of goes into Obed's mouth. And, oh, poor little guy. We've been through this before, but um, we just keep an eye on him and see if we can get him back to feeling better. And, you know, but I, I do kind of think it has something to do with this morning I had to wake him up out of a very sound sleep and I tried to feed him he wasn't too interested in eating but it's just so darned early you know and I don't know if that has anything to do with it but we'll just have to keep uh, keep a watch and take him home now so here we are buddy home sweet home home sweet home where all my babies roam so when Joe and I, you know, when we first got married, I don't know, 32 years ago now, and um, we decided we would be a one income family. The reason being is that we, we wanted me to be home so I could raise my children. It's been a really good thing for them. And, you know, um, and Joe has, he's been very successful on his own. We've had some rough, rough, roads along the way um just recently he has gone back to work um he was joe was actually out of work for six years nearly six years not quite six but ugh, close enough and boy was that that was rough you know um and that was really rough for us but i feel like we're kind of coming out of that now and we're on the mend and you know it's all a, it's all very very good but being able to go and, and get my son in the middle of the day, oh my gosh, I couldn't even have a job. I'd be fired inside of a week because if it's not this kind of stuff, you know, um, it's always IEP meetings, doctor appointments, you know, there's grocery shopping, housework, this, that, and the other thing, and these days go by very, very fast. But, um, I'm very thankful. You know, we're tough. We, Joe and I, I don't know. Uh, there's definitely a blessing on our lives. There's no doubt about that. But we are, um, there's just something. I don't know. We're just both pretty stubborn and pretty tough. And for some reason, we're really able to um, persevere through 
things that would send most people crying home to mama, I think, but um, it's pretty miraculous that we're, we're still here and, and we're, you know, we're managing, we're managing. And so, um, it's all good, you know? Life is good and it doesn't matter what your situation is or how hard it is or how frustrating it is. You know, there's precious little time. The, the hardest thing I think for us is that there's no time for ourselves or for each other. Um, it's, it's all taken and, and focused on other things, but those other things are so much more important, you know, and that is our life and that is what we've been given. And we're very, very thankful. I, I wouldn't want to trade any of this, the, the, the hard days, the easy days, the hardships, the troubles that we endure. I wouldn't trade any of it for anything because I think it's in those, um, trials and those difficulties that's where your character is formed and that's where that's where your faith is tested and where you it, it, the rubber meets the road you know and you really do become the person that you're supposed to supposed to be it's all good and we're gonna I'm gonna take this little guy in now and let him rest he seems fine to me I think it's good but that's kind of a bonus because now we just get to we just get to have some fun and play together and stuff. So that's that's the good part. Hey! Uh, Obed, you don't look sick. Are you sick? Hey, are you sick? Talk to me, Mister. You don't look like you're sick. <coughs> Obed, let me ask you a question. Are you puking in school on purpose? Just to get your mom to come and pick you up because you're tired? Because I'm starting to become very suspicious. Uh, we went through that once before, and we thought that might be what was going on in that little noggin of yours. It worked, right? It did work. So I wanted to put everyone's mind at ease and let you all know that Obed is perfectly fine. This is the next day now. I will tell you that when we brought him home yesterday, he slept all afternoon and all night. I actually had to wake him up to give him some Pedialyte before I went to bed because whenever he gets sick like that, I don't want him to get dehydrated or anything. But I think we're all good here. Since he slept all day, I didn't want to send him to school. Since he had slept, you know, so much yesterday, I didn't want to send him to school today because I like to keep him home a little bit longer just to keep an eye on him, make sure that I'm right. It is very, very hard to tell with him. Like I said yesterday, it's very hard to tell whether it's digestive or whether he has picked up some kind of a bug from somebody else. They had a bunch of kids out sick last week. This week, I guess everybody's fine again, but you just never know. This time of year, especially in October, and we don't want to take any chances. Right, Obed? Say hi, to everybody. say hi everybody, say I'm fine, I'm doing okay, not to worry, we got this, right buddy boy, we got this don't we, do we have this, <laughs> Mr. Handsome Boy, 
funny. So what are we gonna do today? Playing hooky. Mm -hmm. Huh? You do know that your teachers look at this, right? So, like, they're gonna know. They're gonna know. Yeah. You didn't think of that one, did ya? You didn't think of that, did you? <laughs> something solid and see what happens if you haven't done that yet all right Obed so Obed gets I'm gonna try to do this Obed eats um, cream of wheat mixed with lactose-free milk. We did have discovered that he is lactose intolerant. In fact, you know, the, the most um, vomiting that he had done in recent years, I think, was due in part more, more, to, had more to do with the lactose intolerance than it did it's a little warm, huh, buddy? Than it did with the GERD itself. But this cream of wheat mixed with lactose-free uh, milk, we put a little bit of date syrup on there, date honey, and a tiny little bit of agave just to sweeten it up. And that is so easy on the stomach, I think that it really did help him get over some of those major digestive issues and I still have to feed him spoon feed him this way because you guys have seen how crazy he can get he gets overly excited and things kind of go flying and do you want to try to take the spoon huh you want to try to take the spoon huh? sometimes it's hard to figure out if he's left-handed or right-handed but I think he's just gonna let me do it for him this morning. That's fine too. But that's what Obed eats. And if he keeps this down, then we'll be, we should be home free today. And he should be able to have a good dinner tonight. Right, bud? We think. Huh? Do you want some more? Yeah. Well, at least he's taking it. Yesterday, he what, he didn't even take it, so he either was too tired or he really did have a little sick stomach happening. Hey, excuse you. <laughs> there you go. All right. So just to set you guys' minds at ease, I know that so many of you just love Obed. He's such a sweet little boy. And we were worried yesterday that you might be a little bit worried about him. He didn't look too good when I picked him up at the school there, but um, he made some good improvements throughout the day. And I mean, you know, he slept most of the time, but he didn't he didn't get sick again or anything. And I can kind of tell, you know, when he's really hurting. And if he's really sick, oh my gosh, sometimes it'll last several days. He just doesn't want to move or do anything. So you, you know, you can tell when your children don't feel good or, or whatever. But so there you go. There's Obed on the mend, and uh, it's all good. We're gonna have fun today, right, Bud? Obed, look, he's my baby. He's my little guy.
sorry we look like you know what <laughs> but you know what that's that's okay that's how it goes there's the boy oh dude are we snuggling huh got your belly full again bud <laughs> It's not go bug. It's not go bug. My baby giant. My baby giant. Hey, mom's baby giant. Dude. It's all good. Right, bud. Done. Uh, I do, I do, I do. Oh, I better not bounce you too much, huh? I better not do that. <laughs> that could be not, not a good idea. <laughs> Until we're sure, right, bud? Are you a loved boy? Are you? Huh? Are you a loved boy, Obed? Sort of, huh? <laughs> yeah, I would say so. I would say so. Are you pretty spoiled? Are you pretty loved boy and spoiled pretty good? Do we spoil you enough? Huh? Or not enough? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Oibed! Oibdy doibers! What are you doing over there? <laughs> you just wanna, you just wanna snuggle. Oh, you just wanna, I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit. I don't blame you a bit. You love your mommy, don't you? Hmm. Well, Mommy loves you, too. Yes, indeed. It's kind of fun when nobody else is home, isn't it? Because you get all of everything, don't you? Huh? That Mommy person is all yours. Right? All yours. At the moment, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, are you heavy. I don't know. I can't even imagine. Oh, my gosh. When I'm like, I don't know, 65, and you're like, what? I can't even do the math. 16? 17? Or how about, how about this? How about when, you know, these kids get to go to school until they're 22, which is awesome. So how about when Obed is 22 and mom and dad are 71, getting this guy off the school bus? Like, that's a funny thought. That's a funny thought. <laughs>